I'll do it like you. Fear has never stopped him being funny. Although he's cracking jokes at a charity launch supporting HIV patients, Zaganar is well known for his wisecracks against Myanmar's former military rulers. He's the country's second most famous political prisoner behind Aung San Suu Kyi, and he's endured four stints in prison, 11 years in total. His last term began in 2008 after he criticised the ruling military's slow response to the Cyclone Nagas disaster. Now, as part of the government's reforms, he's been released. And when he met US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton on her recent visit to Myanmar, his main concern was for the hundreds of others who were still in prison. All of the political prisoners will be released soon, very soon. She, she, she replied to me like this, and she uh, with a very funny face. The release of all political prisoners is what the world is watching and waiting for. Promises from the government have created high expectations. We must, one day, we must be at the democratic state. We must. So because people want to do like this. 60 million people want democracy. So we are elected by the people. So we must do what people desire. That's a democracy. No one has accurate records of how many political prisoners are still behind bars here in Myanmar. Zaganar thinks it's about 600. Aung San Suu Kyi's NLD party says it's around 500. What is clear is that this country will have to release more political prisoners before the US and Europe will think about lifting sanctions. Zaganar says he holds no grudges and wants to see sanctions lifted if his country continues to reform. Now we stand at the dawn. We will walk to the day. But we don't want back to the dark. He has no plans of his own to enter politics, but he says no one in government or opposition will be spared in his next comic routine. Ella Callan, Al Jazeera, Yangon.